Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem based on Euler's theorem on homogeneous function. The function u is cosecant inverse of x power half plus y power half by x power 1 by 3 plus y power 1 by 3 whole power half. Let's take this cosecant inverse to the other side. So it will become cosecant u. So cosecant u is nothing but x power 1 by 2 plus y power 1 by 2 whole divided by x power 1 by 3 plus y power 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 2. Now let's take this as the function f. And f can be written as f of x comma y because the function is in terms of x and y. So x power half plus y power half whole divided by x power 1 by 3 plus y power 1 by 3 and we have whole power 1 by 2. To check whether it is a homogeneous function or not, we have to replace x as tx and y as ty. So this will become tx power half plus ty power half. And the denominator tx power 1 by 3 plus ty power 1 by 3 and whole power 1 by 2. So in the numerator it is possible to take t power of common. So remaining will be x power half plus y power half. In the same way in denominator it is possible to take t power 1 by 3 common. So we have x power 1 by 3 plus y power 1 by 3. But the entire term is inside the power half. Now this power half I can carry to the t terms as well as the remaining term. First let us simplify this. Suppose if you have a power m by a power n. It is nothing but a power m minus n. So we have to subtract the powers. So t power half minus 1 by 3. And this power half is common for everything. So this power half will come for this entire term. And apart from that, it will also come for the remaining term. The remaining term is x power half plus y power half whole divided by x power 1 by 3 plus y power 1 by 3 whole power half. But this entire term is nothing but the original function f of x comma y. Before that let us simplify this by taking LCM which is 6. So here it is 3 minus 1 sorry 3 minus 2 and still we have power half. And this is nothing but f of x comma y comma z. This is where we started. From f of x comma y we have this and finally we get f of tx comma ty is nothing but here by simplifying this one we get 1 by 6 and in that we have power 1 by 2. It means we will multiply these two numbers. By multiplying this we will get 1 by 12. So t power 1 by 12 into f of x comma y comma z. So from this it is clear that f is a homogeneous function of degree 1 by 12. Therefore by Euler's theorem we can write x into dou f by dou x plus y into dou f by dou y equal to n f. But f is nothing but cosecant u and this. So now I am going to take cosecant u. So here x into 
दो बाई दो एक्स ऑफ कुसिकेंट यू प्लस वाई इनटू दो बाई दो बाई ऑफ कुसिकेंट यू इक्वल टू देन इस नथिंग बट डिग्री व्हिच वी गोट इट एस वन बाई ट्वेल्व सो वन बाई ट्वेल्व इनटू कुसिकेंट यू एंड लेट्स start the differentiation so x into differentiation of cosecant u is minus cosecant u cot u into dou u by 2x plus y into minus cosecant u cot u by chain rule with respect to y so it is dou u by dou y which is equal to 1 by 12 into cosecant u. Now let's divide by minus cosecant u cot u. So we get x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y equal to 1 by 12. We have cosecant u and we are going to divide by minus cosecant u into cot u. So here we will cancel the cosecant u and the rest of the terms we can write as it is. And on the other side it is by taking the cot u to the numerator we get tan u and there is a minus sign and there is a 12 in the denominator. So let's take this as the expression 1. This expression we are going to do. Now differentiate this 1 partially with respect to x. So we have to do product rule. Write first term as it is derivative of the second term is dou square u by dou x square plus right second term as it is derivative of x is 1. In the same way product rule for the second term here we will write the first term and derivative of the second term is dou square u by dou x dou y plus right second term as it is and derivative of y is nothing but 0 because we are doing partial derivative with respect to x. So y is constant which is 0 and on the other side it is minus secant square u and this 12 is as it is and using chain rule the derivative of u is dou u by dou x. Anyway in the proof we need x square into dou square u by dou x square. So for that we have to multiply the entire expression by x. So we get x square into dou square u by dou x square plus x into dou u by dou x plus x y into dou square u by dou x dou y equal to minus x secant square u into dou u by dou x whole divided by 12. Let's take this as a second expression. Now once again let's copy the first expression because we are going to differentiate this one partially with respect to y. So again we will follow the product rule. So write the first term. Derivative of the second term is dou square u by dou y dou x plus write the second term as it is and derivative of the x is 0 because we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so x is treated as a constant plus coming to this again product rule write first term derivative of second term is dou square u by dou y square plus write the second term as it is and derivative of y is 1 then other side minus secant square u into dou u by dou y and there is 12 in the denominator. Anyway, we need 
y square into dou square by dou y square. So we have to multiply every term by y. So by multiplying by y, we get x y dou square u by dou y dou x. Then second term is anyway zero. Then third term is y square into dou square u by dou y square. Then last term is y into dou u by dou y equal to minus y secant square u by 12 into dou u by dou y. Let's take this as the third expression. Now we are going to add second and third. So adding second and third we get x square into dou square x sorry dou square u by dou x square plus we get two like terms this is x y dou square u by dou y dou x and in the second expression we have x y into dou square u by dou x dou y both are both are same since it is a homogeneous function so by adding these two we can group it together as twice so it is 2xy into dou square u by dou x dou y. Then we also have y square into dou square u by dou y square. Then apart from this, we have two terms that is x into dou u by dou x and here plus y into dou u by dou y. This is nothing but our first expression. So it can be replaced as minus tan u by 12. So by adding this we get minus tan u by 12. And on the other side the terms common is secant square u by 12. And there is a minus sign. Similarly here secant square u by 12 with a minus sign. So when we take the term common minus secant square u by 12 we are left with x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y which is nothing but once again it is the first expression x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y and that can be replaced as minus tan u by 12. So this is minus tan u by 12. Now these two minus we can cancel and this term I can take to the other side as plus. So already we have first three terms then apart from that the term which is on the other side is secant square u by 12 into tan u by 12. When I take this to the other side plus tan u by 12. Now the term common is tan u by 12. After taking this common we have first term secant square u by 12 plus 1. But in the proof, we have all the terms in terms of tan only. So let's change this secant square u in terms of tan using the trigonometric identity. So this is tan u by 12. Let it open. This is nothing but 1 plus tan square u. 1 plus tan square u is secant square u divided by 12 and we have plus 1. We we'll take LCM. Now we get tan u by 12. LCM is 12. So first term 1 plus tan square u as it is plus 12. By combining these two numbers we get 13. So we have tan u by 12 bracket open 13 plus tan square u whole divided by 12. Let's 
divide individually to give the terms what were given in the question. So tan u by 12 and this is 13 by 12 plus tan square u by 12. So in the question it is given x square into dou square u by dou x square plus 2x y into dou square u by dou x dou y plus y square into dou square u by dou y square equal to tan u by 12 into 13 by 12 plus tan square u by 12. Such an expression is noted here. So on one side we have this and on the other side after simplification we get this. So hence proof.